Hola bonitas, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a review and wear test on the new One Size Ultimate Setting Powders. They just launched two new shades and of course I had to purchase these. I have this one in Ultra Pink and also in Sweet Honey. So let's see how these apply and most importantly how they wear throughout the day. Keep watching because you will not want to miss this. Okay bonitas, so I did half of my makeup. I still have to do concealer and of course set the face with powder, but we're doing that on camera because we are testing out these new one size ultimate setting powders. Um, I was super intrigued because they just launched two new shades, launched my favorite color, a ultra pink shade, which I actually already played around with a little bit because I did film some short form content. I'm so excited to get into this powder um, and let you guys know more tea. And they also have a sweet honey one. Um, so we're gonna be using both of these. One Size is a beauty brand by Patrick Starr and he launched two ultimate blurring setting powders. I wanna say in 2020, he did a universal translucent one and he also did a dark deep shade right here. And now he just came out with these two new shades that I have here. I haven't tried these, the original ones, but I had to check these out, um, especially because I just feel like I love to use a good powder for my under eyes. I love that good brightening also to set the face, especially because I do have a very oily T-zone. Um, and for the summer, it's very, very hot. And like, especially for like a summer event, like an evening event where I want my makeup to look snatched, I feel like this is a great thing for like event makeup. Let's read a little bit about this in case you're not familiar with it. So this is a finely milled blurring powder for all day wear, 24 hour shine control, a soft matte finish, and it's available in four shades. Um, this is vegan, cruelty free, and gluten free. So this is a smoothing, weightless, sweat proof powder, controls excess oils and shine while blurring pores, which I love that. I feel like this is a great product for when you really want your makeup to look phenomenal all day long. And we all know Patrick Starr's makeup. Whew, se ve hermoso. So I want to use these powders how Patrick used them. Um, so I originally had just purchased the ultra pink shade because I wanted to have a pink powder. Um, this is my first luxury brand pink powder that I purchased. I've tried many like affordable ones. I've done the DIY and all that. I never try the Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom one because it was always sold out, but this is my first like ultra pink powder, so I'm very excited. I did watch a video where Patrick was using both of them. So I was like, okay, wait, now I wanna check out Sweet Honey as well. He's using the pink one. Can you guys see the pink one on the under eyes? And you guys can see the midsection of the face with pink, then Sweet Honey on the outer parts of the face. So look at that, like, I wanna try that out. And can we talk about this promo? Like this promo is, is everything, absolutely everything. So um, let's get into it. I'm just going to be taking some concealer and I'm going to be applying this on my under eyes. And for concealer today, I am just going in with Huda Beauty um, Faux Filter Concealer. And I'm gonna be taking the pink powder, the ultra pink. And I know a lot of people have been saying that this powder is more pink than a lot of powders um, that are pink powders. And like I said, I have tried some pink powders, um, affordable ones. I haven't tried any of like the high end ones, but this is definitely pink. It almost looks like a blush. Okay, so I'm gonna take a pink little puff in honor of the pink powder. And you can apply this however you want. You can use a puff. You can use a damp sponge. I know some people use a damp sponge. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a puff on one side and then I'm going to do a damp sponge on the other side just to kind of see how it does. But we are just gonna set it. And one thing I do appreciate about this pink powder is that it actually looks pink on the under eyes. Like because it's like a really pigmented pink powder, like I'm actually seeing the pinkness of this powder. Um, which I appreciate because I feel like a lot of times the pink powders that I've tried, like they'll be pink powders, but they literally look translucent or like white on the under eye. I'm just gonna let that sit 
right under. And while we wait for that, I am going to actually apply my blush. So for blush, I'm gonna be using the One Size Attention Seeker Blush Palette. I love this. And because I'm using One Size's new Ultra Pink Powder, I'm like, I need to give all the pink vibes. So I'm going to be taking my brush. So first I like to go in with the powder blush. And I'm just gonna apply that right under the pink powder. We're just gonna let the pink powder do its thing. I love this blush. The powder blush in here is un sueño. Like it is literally stunning. Now I'm gonna dust away this powder, my brush. And I have to say, I really like how easily and seamless this just dusts away. Like look at that, just such a seamless finish you get. And look how much of a difference that powder already made, like this side compared to this side. And it seamlessly flows with the blush already. Look at the brightness it gives us from this side to that side. Because I feel like sometimes with my medium to tan skin, um, certain pink powders can look a little too pale and I feel like this one just is like a very seamless effect. Um, so once I have that, I am gonna take a little tiny bit not too much, just a little tiny bit of the cream blush right here. And we are just going to take that right above, just very little of it, because this is a very, very pigmented product. And we are just going to kind of create that like mid-tone blushing between the under eye and the more hot pink powder blush. You guys can see it just, it gives off like a very seamless effect. And I would have done like pink fun eyeshadow, but I'm actually going to see the Little Mermaid in a few hours, in like two hours. So I wanted to do like a little bit of pop of blue on the eyes, kind of like ocean ethereal theme. Um, so that's why I have this blue eyeshadow. Otherwise I would have done pink lamb just in honor of like all this one size pink vibes we have going on. And can I just say, I forgot to mention when I was showing you guys this one, just because this one I've already used so many times, I appreciate powders that come with lids. It just makes it so much easier for for you not to have like the biggest mess as soon as you open your powder. And it's also long nail friendly. My nails are like medium length right now, but still. So this one is the Sweet Honey. Actually, I'm gonna be using a sponge for this because I wanna see how it does. I will say one thing about this packaging that I'm not the biggest fan of that I wish was a little bit different. I mean, I, it's super cute and all, but like I just think that's too small. Like I'm having a really hard time getting the product out. Uh, so I just have to like really put a bunch of the product on the back of the lid so that we can kind of see that. But I'm gonna do what Patrick did and I'm going to take the powder and I'm going to just use it to clean up down here, but also kind of set all of that in place. This is a nice tone, set everything. I need another puff, hold on. So here's the thing with the damp sponge. The damp sponge allows you to really pack that product on but I feel like with a puff, you get more so of that like cleaner look when you are going in and kind of setting and baking everything. So yeah, you guys can see. The last time when I just had the ultra pink powder, I used this to do the same technique here um, and it worked really beautifully as well just because of the fact that this is a pink blush. It just was like a really nice seamless finish, um, which I really, really appreciate. Of course, you can go in and apply more of the pink powder in other areas where you kind of want to brighten up more. So maybe like the center of the face and then on the outskirts, you do the um, sweet honey powder if you're around my complexion. The way that Patrick did it, I feel like it worked well but I just feel like leaving this on for a little bit makes a difference and you can you can already see the difference. I have very texturized skin, I have rosacea, I have texture, I just have all that stuff, very oily skin and I feel like this kind of just really makes it look so seamless and beautiful. I'm just gonna take a little bit more of this powder, the pink powder, and I'm just gonna set like the center of the face with it. I'm gonna set right there. Some of the outer parts, I'm just gonna go in with sweet honey like sweet honey is definitely giving you that like yellow like honey color and then the ultra pink is giving you 
ultra pink. It's honestly probably, in my opinion, one of the most pink powders I've seen because it actually looks pink. A lot of powders say they're pink powders, but when you put them on the face, they literally just look like they're like translucent. So this is what we have on. This is where I'm applying the powder and we're just gonna kind of leave that there for a little bit, but I'm also gonna apply it around the nose where I just contoured. This is what we have going on here. You can already see what it's doing to the face. Like we're about to see the difference. Okay, so I'm gonna dust that away. Dust this away. Dust this away as well. Look how clean and just crisp this looks. Then here in the center of the face. I like using the pink powder at the center of the face. I feel like it brings more attention and more light to that center section. I used it on this middle part and then on the outer edges I used the Sweet Honey shade. La cara, the face, looks flawless. Se ve hermosa. Like, I'm like, okay, I see how Patrick gets that flawless application on his makeup because these powders, like they do make a big difference. So this side right here is with the two powders. This side is with no powders. Like, miren la diferencia. Okay, so I am back. I finished my entire face of makeup and I have both of the powders on the face. I am loving how all this looks on the face. I feel like it looks stunning. I love this like matte finish. It's not matte and flat. It's like a soft matte finish. Love how these powders were together, how the ultra pink powder looks like with my blush. I love how the sweet honey looks against my complexion in the areas where I applied it. So now we have to do our flash test. So I'm going to be taking my phone off the charger real quick and I am going to switch the camera, make sure I have the flash on, and we are going to take una foto. My good side. So I have here the photo, and I have to say it did very well. It did very, very well. Um, I feel like my skin looks very nice and matte and in place. It looks seamless, and I really do appreciate that because Sometimes powders can make the makeup just not look seamless and I think it looks seamless here. I'm also not seeing flashback. It's like little to no flashback. Um, so I like how this all looks and I feel like my complexion just looks really nice and like smooth. What I'm gonna go ahead and do now is carry on with the rest of my day. I'm gonna be wearing this all evening, all night. I'm gonna come back late at night um, and let you guys know what my thoughts are on this powder, how it wears, because it's supposed to be an all day wear powder. We'll do an in natural lighting clip so you guys can see how that looks. And then we can circle back later tonight and I can give you guys my final thoughts, whether I think these are worth it. So you don't want to miss this keep watching so i wanted to give you guys the up close with the natural light of the powders on the face let me just tell you i love how my complexion looks i'm somebody that tries a lot of powders because i do have very oily skin i have texture on my skin i have under eyes that crease so i'm constantly looking for the next best powder and i feel like this is giving me that i'm gonna go ahead and carry on i just wanted to show you guys in natural light now i'm like do i need to take some pictures of this glam because I am feeling myself right now. Okay, Bonitas, I am back right now. It is 2.56 a.m. So let's back up, let me explain. So I literally was running errands. I went to see The Little Mermaid. It was 10 out of 10, let me just tell you. Then I came home. I um, was doing like just some little stuff around the house. I was watching The Vanderpump Rules Reunion Part 2. And then I fell asleep. It was like 30 minute nap, 30 minute nap. It was about to be midnight. And then I fell asleep. Next thing you know, 2.56 a.m. <laughs> How did I do this? Okay, but let's talk about the powders. So this is what our face looks like after a long day. So a good amount of time with the powders. And honestly, after how long has it been? After a good amount of hours, powder honestly did pretty well. It's just around the nose where I'm a little dewy, but like everywhere else, the face looks good. You guys know I have very oily skin, so the fact that it looks like this and it's not as oily as I usually get 
is a really good size. Um, I think that they are worth the $34. I love how well they bake the face without making it look cakey or heavy. Like even in natural lighting, I felt like my complexion looked beautiful and you guys saw that. FYI, I'm whispering because there are people sleeping in my house. So I'm like, I need to respect that they're sleeping and it's 3 a.m. So yeah, I like these. I like these a lot. Let me know if you've tried these powders out. What are your thoughts? I think One Size and Patrick Star did that with these powders and I'm really glad they came out with two new gorgeous brightening shades. So that's it for me. I'm about to take off all this makeup at 3 a.m. and go to sleep. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. It lets me know continue doing my reviews and more tests. And I think that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed, and stay beautiful. And I'll see you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Adios bonitas.